Identity 5 Gamers, how are you doing today? No, seriously, how are you doing? I'm curious, you know, it's always good, uh, good to check up on people, you know? Today, I'm gonna be showing you some of my match replays. Alrighty, so in our first match here, lo and behold, I'm actually playing Doc. <laughs> So I don't really play Doc too much anymore, but the reason I was playing Doc was because I was trying to finish all of her freaking deductions. Because I plan to do uh, every single character's like little deduction story, but you have to finish like all the deductions to be able to do that. So yeah, I was working on Doc here, and this match doesn't really have anything super notable to my knowledge, but I really enjoyed the ending of this match. I know this Cypher isn't primed yet, right? Because they get down. Um, I'm pretty sure Composer gets down here again, which is a little unfortunate. I'm trying to get like a body block, but I think I miss it actually. Do I miss it? I think I do. Let's see. Yeah, he, he gets able to swipe, swipe right in there. But I know that it's not ready yet, because I think, I don't know, I just assume they're not. So what I do is I just do this healing strat. So I let myself go down. Um, yeah, I go down, but the Cypher is, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, oh, that's right, yeah. Prospector, boom, there we go, drops them. And then Cypher pop, I think. There it is. We just bought so much time with the heal strap plus the prospector getting the stun there. It was some pretty cool teamwork. Okay, so this match, I'm actually not even gonna show from my perspective. I This is actually a 4K, but I just thought this match was so funny, dude. I was cracking up so hard at this match, dude. So it looks like over here, Dancer is uh, trying to get some Cypher progress here, but she cannot see the main body and she gets a, uh, gets a freaking leech right away. So she's already got two followers to work with here. And I think this is, it's honestly kind of hard for me to tell sometimes. What is, okay, that was definitely not the least, that was a follower. The thing is, uh, for Dream Witch, when you hit, uh, when you hit your target with a leech follower, uh, the leech will disappear. So you want to uh, use leeches of, like, let's say Takeshi here. If I have the leech for Takeshi, you want to use that on like the three other characters. That, that's how it works usually. Um, but the, the main follower here is like, oh, give me that. Let, let's go down into the basement here. And as you know, basement is quite powerful. Uh, where are you going? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I see what's happening here. I see. Yeah, so that was actually really smart. They put, they, they, they realized like, oh, there's probably not, not enough, uh, probably not enough time for me to get down in there. So they're probably gonna be able to struggle free, right? Well, if that's the case, why don't I just, uh, well, yeah, see, boom. Boom, look at that. That's super smart. That is super, super smart. And they, they this, th this dream which made uh, full utility of that this entire game. Like, they, they truly did. So it shoves a female dancer into this chair here. Look at the little cat. <laughs> cat just running around there. Uh, I believe the spawn is down there and the followers up here, I actually can't tell, but gets another leech off. So has three, three followers here to work with. Magician is coming for the rescue, bonk. Bonks that magician, but here's the thing. The other one's down here. Careful. And she knows he's in this area and boop. Down goes the magician. That's the thing. This is the power of Dream Witch, dude. There are three followers here. It makes it so tricky. And I can't remember if I'm the next one to go down or not. But I think actually I think Journalist and I both come in here at the exact same time. Uh, but there are three followers on the field, which makes things really scary. It looks like I think I think I just jump right in here because I'm just like, oh. I, th I think I just gotta get. I think we're trying to come at the same time. Yeah, journalist sends in the kid. Journalist takes a hit. Uh, I think we all like drop down at the same time or something. I don't know. Kid dies. Journalist comes down here, gets terror shock, unable to get the rescue. So I'm like, okay, my turn. I take a hit. I get female dancer out, and then they die to blink. And then I'm just rescue. I'm rescuing everybody here. But there's more followers. <laughs> Downs the magician when they like just started their thingy, and I think I'm the only one alive. I flywheel, but I forget about the final follower, and yep, we all fall. <laughs> all these followers, dude. This dream, which was so good at managing their followers. Oh my goodness, dude. It was so funny. I was just cracking up star because I was like, this is a dead game. This is like, I knew it was a dead game like so long ago, but I was just like, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Yeah, and the thing is, they, they have the... They have the... Yeah, I think I was like, I'm trying to... I think I just self-healed. I, I think I like, get myself healed off like right here or something. And then I get instant down. Yeah, because they were so smart. They were so smart to realize like I was going to get the self-heal. And they just didn't want to get dungeon. So, yeah, they, they had the main body right up there. Made sure to get the leech. 
And now I'm just dead. I'm like, help, please. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. And the thing is, this was such a fast match. We couldn't even surrender. We literally couldn't even surrender. I think I was trying to surrender, but there was like a time limit. And I was just, I was just cracking up so hard, dude. Because this is, this is, yeah, there it is. This is basement party. That was literally basement party. Every single person died in the basement. Oh, it was so funny, dude. So this time I'm playing Hunter. I'm playing my Night Watch here. I've been trying to practice Night Watch a lot recently. I go for the suck right at the very start just so I can have a little bit of stuff to work. I think I actually start using like Windwalk, which is like in my Night Watch video, I just didn't use it at all because I didn't think it was that useful. Every time I had used it, I just never got it to work properly. But having the extra speed boost like hop over pallets is definitely really, really helpful here. Um, yeah. But this is a very long match. I think this is a 12 minute match. So I'm gonna skip past a little bit of it. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure toward the end game, I pushed for like a four escape. And uh, I, it takes for, it takes me like forever to find survivors. I'm pretty sure. Uh, do I get the hop? I don't even try to go for the hop. I think I still had wind walk. I don't know, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, now I get the wind walk. Um, perfume, you shouldn't have perfume. Yeah, it's still, I think it, or I guess she, she could have. Oh yeah, she does use it actually, Never mind. She's able to use the perfume there. A bit unfortunate. I never really liked chasing this character first. It's honestly pretty annoying. But at the same time, I get the Terror Shock. And another thing, every single time a Perfumer uses a perfume, you at least still get presence, right? So now I've got like almost max presence just from one chase, which is honestly, you know, pretty solid. You can't really say that for too many other characters uh, aside from like, I don't know, uh, I guess freaking Tracy because of the bot. I don't know, but I, I see the coordinator coming in here for the rescue. I think I think what I try to do here is I just try to bait out the gun. I think I'm just trying to like either down her or just trying to bait her to use the gun because I really just want her to use the gun so I don't have to just deal with it later because I know the gun is just going to be annoying, right? And I don't think I am able to uh, to get her to use it anytime soon. I think she holds on to it for a little bit. Uh, I can't actually remember. I, I do actually know. Oh, I do remember. Okay, I know, I, know, I know what happens here. So I think I get the perfumer downed. Uh, do I down her with blink right here? No. Yeah, I see it through there. I think I blink. Yeah, I blink. And then she flywheels. I wait for it. And she jukes. And yeah, weird, weird little hitbox there. But you know, it's fine. So I know that the coordinator is in the area. I see her. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to get shot. Let me put her down. And the thing about coordinator, like the longer you don't hit the flare gun, the more pressure it adds, right? The more pressure it adds. Because coordinator flare gun, when you get hit by it while you're carrying somebody, not only gets gives them uh, a chance to like get free or whatever, but... It also gives them so much time to like transition, right? Because I think, yeah, she used it there, but I know, I know immediately. I'm just like, you know what? I know this is probably just gonna trade with the barrels. Let me just do that. So she we completely wastes the flare gun there. Uh, but I didn't even notice Acrobat coming in here for the rescue. And I unfortunately, I'm just like, oh gosh, that was really, really fast. Because that was a, that was an instant rescue, dude. And he's trying to get the body block, but he's wind walk and boop, down the perfumer. They have no harassers here. Because uh, the corner already used up the flare gun, so I know that I can just chair and down the perfumer here. So, boop, get him in the chair. The dog comes over, and then the dog's like, oh no, my owner! <laughs> By the way, this is just a random aside. I see people using these dogs all the time, uh, and just like pets in general. Am I the only one that finds pets distracting? I always turn off pets. Like, I have the freaking, uh, the dog and rampa pet. Um, but honestly, I just, I don't know. Also, I tried to attack that because I didn't know if he had a uh, flywheel. Um, but no, he has broken windows. So I, that, that was mainly why I did that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I probably should have used Windwalk there. It would have helped with the chase here. Uh, uses some type of bomb. I honestly can't tell. Sometimes the accessories make it really difficult for me to tell what kind of bomb that they're using. Um, but yeah, get stuck. Get stuck on the little uh, fire barrel there. And uh, I'm able to get the down on the acrobat while the coordinator heals up. So you know what? This is like pretty fun. This is looking like, you know, a tied match, a potential... Uh, Potential 3k, but I get tinnitus, so I know somebody's in the area, so I'm just keeping an eye out. I want to break this pallet, so I have don't, nothing to, like, rebound with. Um, you know, cleaning up pallets is always pretty good after you get the rescue, especially if uh, you're in my tier and, like, camping the chair is kind of, like, the only thing that you can do. When I when I was first starting, I didn't really like camping the chair, but I noticed, like, as I went on, it, it was getting harder and harder to down survivors, and I kind of had to camp the chair or else I would just constantly lose. Like, I feel like at, uh, at beginner level... Leaving, like keeping people, like chairing them and then just leaving is super good because you can just constantly keep downing. As long as you down them three times, like that's it. That's all you need. Um, and I'm just, I'm just super chasing the acrobat here. I get two wind walks. I'm just like, I want this acrobat down, bro. I'm getting this acrobat. I think I use everything here, actually. Uh, do I use my last one? No, I do not. I think he was trying to get a ball ready there. 
uh, but was unfortunately unable to get it off. And I think they, do they die on chair? No, I don't think they do. I don't know. They're, that's only their first chair. Yeah, the, the, the uh, coordinator was able to get off the rescue. And I go to clean up these pallets a little bit. Because uh, I actually really hate this kind of area. Because the thing about Arms Factory, I'm so bad as Hunter in Arms Factory. Because I constantly lose sight of people. Like, all the time. I never know where people go. And half the time, I just get, like, pallet job. Because I'm like, is the survivor behind the pallet? Are they there? Are they there? And I know you can, like, usually hear the breathing. But for me, I can never really tell. Um, I, th I think... Uh, yeah, do I get the... I do get the, uh, the last effort terror shock looking thing there. So I know the acrobat is dead. And I'm kind of, and I know that they can't uh, pop the cipher, right? Because uh, there aren't four people, right? I know one person's working on one cipher, and two of them are here. So there's no way they, they can pop two ciphers, right? So I know the acrobat just dies here. I don't really have to worry about it too hard. And I go, boop, get in there, and acrobat is down. And I know that somebody was working on this uh, cipher because I saw them working on it. And I assume that it's probably close to being, uh, to being completed. Which I, I guess you can't really see it there, but whatever. Uh, and this is uh, the coordinator here. And I was like, you know what? I'm sorry, Martha, but bonk. <laughs> I'll use my blink on you. Because I knew she was just going to keep looping me around this area. I didn't feel like breaking the pallet so that she could transition. So I was just like, you know what? No. Get in the chair. <laughs> uh, coordinator does have a decently long chair time. I believe it's 66 seconds as opposed to 60 seconds at base without any like buffs or debuffs from the Persona web. Which, you know, is, is pretty nice. It gives Embalmer a little extra time to work with. And I think what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to find the Embalmer. Because... But, yeah, I see him here. And I don't... I can't prevent the rescue. I can't make it in time, unfortunately. He's just able to get the rescue off. But there's no pallets in this area. And I think I'm able to... Yeah, there's a pallet right there, obviously. But, like... Uh, not, 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 not right where they were, of course. And I think he's trying to get the body block. But, like, here's the thing. Nobody's decoding. And I'm just like, well... I can just take my sweet time... Wait for the Embalmer. I think I actually get the hit on the Embalmer here, right? I'm pretty sure that I do. Yeah, I'm just like spamming my videos like, yo, come back here, bro. <laughs> and yeah, he immediately uses the coffin. Um, yeah, because the thing is like, he knows if I... Yeah, he, he has to, he has to, because I would have picked up the coordinator. If he doesn't use the coffin, then they, that's just GG. Because I would I would have just... Uh, I would have shared coordinator, then I would have shared Embalmer. And I'm pretty sure if Embalmer is shared, even if he has a coffin while everybody else is shared, it's still death, right? Is it? I actually don't know. Can you, can, if somebody could let me know about that, that's actually something I'd like to learn. Like, let's say I uh, he didn't use the coffin there and I chaired coordinator. If I chair Embalmer, is he able to use the coffin even though, like, it's technically a dead game? Like, it's technically, uh, it, he should be dead? Or does it just say GG? I imagine it allows him to use the coffin. And the thing is, I got greedy. I thought the coffin was, like, in this area, but I, like, it showed me where the coffin was, but I forgot exactly where it was. I just knew it was up in that area. And uh, they actually get to rescue the uh, coordinator. But the thing is, I again, I just know that uh that 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 they can't finish the ciphers right because the second i see a cipher being worked on i just go for the chase right i just go for the chase but i can't really find them so coordinator does heal but they start moving and i think i finally pick up on the trail and i'm like oh here we go finally there they are i i hate i hate trying to like find survivors like in arms factory especially in this area because i just i just get lost man I'm just like, where, are, where is this trail? Where is this trail? And I do have a lot of pallets in the air to work with. So I think I'm just playing the long game. And I'm just like, I'm just going to break these pallets. So they have nothing to work with. I'm not even going to bother hopping over them with Windwalk. Uh, yeah, she's going to drop this pallet here. Oh, it doesn't drop the pallet. Okay. All right. I thought she was going to maybe hug at the wall. I have Blink. Do I use it? Yeah, I think I'm saving my Blink. Saving the Blink because I think I can just get her down here. Bonk. And I was like, oh, wait. She healed. Uh, so I might use the Blink to down her here. But I think within this time, I think Embalmer is actually able to uh, to finish the other ciphers, if I remember correctly. I actually don't remember. Uh, I'll have to see. Well, I break this pallet because now now I know she has nothing to work with but windows. But yeah, she's she's super good at just like, uh, yeah, she just Cord's doing just a great job of kiting here. Honestly, this is a really solid kite. Uh, I use the blink. I completely miss it because I, I think I'm just getting sick and tired of just getting looping in this area. The thing is, like, this area is good for looping, but I just I just lose track of people all the time. And I end my, my I end my win there a little too soon, and I am unable to get the wind walk. So she just she just able to keep on looping me, just continuously looping me over and over and over. And I'm, honestly, at this point, I'm getting like really annoyed. I'm just like, oh, please. I honestly yeah, I lose track of her. I don't even okay. I don't I actually, that was actually kind of embarrassing. I don't even know how I lost track of her there, but you know it's whatever. So I use my dashes, and I think the cipher is now primed. Uh, yeah, it's definitely primed. He's just waiting for the coordinator to go down. So that was a beautiful beautiful uh, kite by the coordinator. 
But this is this is why I hate Arms Factory, bro. Because I just get looped constantly. Like I'm about to I'm about to just buy Nine and start like using her on this map because like my goodness, I just get looped constantly. But yeah, I, go, I get a little greedy. I'm just like you know, even if she drops a pallet, I'm fine with the trade. Boom, down the coordinator. And the thing is, I have teleport now. Um, because I I thought. I, I scared him away. Okay, I didn't even know. Because the thing is, like, I can't tell where he is, but I, can, I, I see what I did now. I scared him away. So I'm like, in this area, like, oh, no, tinnitus. So he must be on the other side. And I don't want to wait for coordinator. I didn't want to give coordinator the time to uh, self heal. So I work my way back. I think I'm just like, you know what? I'll take the 3K. I'll, I'll just take the 3K. I don't remember if this is rank or not, honestly. This might have been rank. I honestly can't remember. Uh, but yeah, she, she does get the self heal, but I just get greedy again. You know what? I'm just like, you know what? I don't even care. I know, and now I'm like, you know, I know she has no self heal now. So, uh,. And Balmer's not over here. So I'm like, well, he has to be at a door, right? Yeah. I'm getting no tinnitus. He has to be at a door. But he's just he's just running. You know, he's just running in that area. And I'm like, you know what? I can just leave Cord. Actually, no, I don't. Oh, no, no. I, I think I just do chair. Yeah. Because I think I think at this point, I think this was right. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get the, I'm just gonna get the, uh, the 3K. So at this point, I don't I don't know. I don't even know, man. Uh, I, I had no idea where this Embalmer was. He, he was doing a great job of hiding, right? He just, like, whenever he figured out I had teleport... Um, he, he immediately, like, transitioned away, but now I have teleport, zoom on back, and I think I finally, yeah, that, that right there, the, the freaking crows. Thank goodness for the freaking crows, bro, I was finally able to see where he is, because I just, I just couldn't find him, dude, I just could not find this guy. Uh, freaking Aesop, however you pronounce his name, so, yeah, I got the wind walk here, I probably should have just jumped there, I think I got a little bit greedy. I'm just like, oh, he's right here. I, I would think I was trying to... Yeah, because I thought the dungeon might be in the area, but I do indeed get the down. Uh, I think I was mainly just worried about the dungeon and the fact that I also um, was about to run out of tension too. So if I if I hit him and then he's able to like run towards dungeon, which is right over here. Ironically enough, I chair him, <laughs> I chair him right next to dungeon. That wasn't even intentional. It was just the closest chair nearby. Oh my gosh, look at that little Joseph plush. What the heck is he even doing? You see that? <laughs> that, that walk was so weird. All right, this next match here, I am actually playing as female dancer, because she was free today. This actually happened earlier today. I was actually lucky enough to get the uh, the little cool accessory that she has as well, the little fire and ice one or whatever. I don't know, I think it looks really cool. Or maybe it's like fire and shadow, I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's just like both fires. I don't know, either way, it looks kind of cool. Uh, but I'm up against Nyad here, and I just want you to know that this is my first ever time playing as female dancer. And this is the, there's a reason why I request, mainly because it was the first ever time I ever played as female dancer. I just want to tell you all that this is the power of knowledge and like watching other people so the thing is i know about female dancer is that she's so good in two-story areas because whenever you drop down from a two-story area she gets a th i think it's 30 percent uh speed boost for uh th or three seconds not 30 seconds oh my gosh that would have been so annoying uh three seconds so i start just looping around this area i know she's gonna start watering me off i get the uh vaulting because this this fast box here helps me out so much right and she doesn't even bother destroying the box so i can i know i can come back there later and i'm just kind of like Run away. I've really been trying to like, practice like the transitional kiting and whatnot. Uh, but I get a bit nervous. I flywheel there. And yeah, I kind of just. I don't even bother uh, flywheeling there. Uh, gets, get, I think. I, okay, I'm trying to get a hit here. I want to take a hit so I can transition um, somewhere else with more power. I, I think I do a slow box trap right here. Uh, I unfortunately put it a little too far. I was, I was trying to put it like under the pallet. Uh, but whatever. So now I have a slow box there to work with. And I think I do another one over here where I try and set it up properly. Uh, the thing about this knight is he doesn't like down any of the boxes, right? So I put another one down here and I drop the pallet, so I know that I have like this this thing to set up, right? And that this is the thing, right? Because I just knew, like when I was watching tournaments, I saw female dancers do this all the time. I know she here's the thing, I knew she was gonna go for blink, and I immediately was like, I run back towards her. That was another thing that I was I was really proud of because I knew she was gonna go for blink. Most knights carry blink, so I was like you know what, she's probably just gonna come back around, use blink, and I was able to get the vault off there. I do get down to the water though. Uh, the water is still the biggest thing that I need, like, need to work with. And I was honestly really happy that she uh, took the time to break that box. Because that's the thing about the female dancer. She didn't chair me. What she should have done is probably chaired me first. And then did it. Because that just bought like an extra 10... Not 10 seconds. But, you know, a few extra seconds of decoding time, right? And you know, every second in this game does indeed matter. And all my other boxes are over there. My slow box and fast box are still set up all the way over there. Which I will indeed use in the future. So the forward comes over here. And what I thought was so funny is he just sits there. He just sits there and waits. Like, I think the Nyad even notices. Like, because look at that. Look at that, man. Like, you can't not notice that he's there. And he's just like, yeah, I'll just I'll just sit here. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. <laughs> and he comes on in here. Doesn't even need to use the football at all. And then I think he's able to get the rescue. Okay, I was actually a bit concerned here. Boop. But barely gets the rescue before half. I was actually really happy with that. 
Um, I notice she, yeah, she go, goes for the trident, so I'm just like, yeah. I, I take the hit from the dash, which is annoying. I feel like that dash has a massive hitbox, dude. I feel like it has a much bigger hitbox than I think it does. And here's the thing, I make I make use of female dancers, drop down ability here again, boop, and then I get the 30% uh, the speed boost again, so I'm able to use it to transition up this way. And I know that Blink has a massive uh, cooldown, so I'm able to drop the God Palette and get tons and tons of distance here. And I start playing around this area, and I'm pretty sure I'm just like, yeah, I think the Cypher's, I think the Cypher's primed. So all I'm trying to do is just buy enough time here, right? Because I'm pretty sure I'm just like, yeah, the Cypher's probably primed. Let me just buy as much time here as possible. And then I realize, wait, what am I doing? If I'm gonna go down, let me go this way. I think I transition back towards her because I want to go down and run towards my boxes so I can I, I can give everybody a chance to escape for endgame. That that was the whole point, right? That was the whole point of uh, running back toward this way. And I was like, well, my slow box is over here. My fast box is over here. Let me just chill in this area, right? Let me just chill in this area. I didn't even notice that's why Merchant had a catapult right set up there. But yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to chill in my slow box area. You know, I'm all forced her to chase me and nobody else. And I can just keep looping this area until I run out of wall, which I do indeed run out of wall, but that's fine. I see the forward escapes, and all I need to do is just, I'm just buying time. Because I know I'm going to die. I, I, that was my first ever spin. I didn't even know how to use the spins properly. I was like, yeah, I'll just try out the spin. It didn't really work out too well for me. But, you know, it's fine. I feel like I definitely could have, like, spun a bit more. But I got, I, I was able to, uh, you know, manage the uh, the three escapes. So, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was a pretty good match. You know, pretty much kited the whole time. Uh, and that was my first ever match of Female Dancer. And it was like, that's the thing. I, I've never played as her before. But she's simple. And like you, I just watched what pro players did. I copied that, and it just worked. It literally just worked because like setting the the boxes up in good spots, like under pallets, it's just it's really powerful, dude. It is so powerful. And making use of the two-story areas was definitely really really solid as well, since uh, female dancer is quite strong with those two-story areas. But yeah, that'll be it for today. Thank you so very much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I guess I'll see you all later. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.